So this is really exciting, Aditya, because we can now start doing something called adaptive bitrate streaming, which is something that Clannery has done for a while, but now we can do it on the fly. What does that mean? Yeah, so um, as most people are familiar, adaptive bitrate streaming is one of the technologies to prevent any kind of buffering, you know, those pixelated images or uh, that dreaded circle spinning that you see when you are watching a or favorite ad or or any kind of video that uh, you're engaged to. And uh, previously, uh, the way Cloudinary supported adaptive bitrate streaming was uh, more so at the upload uh, of that video. And with this new change, we're now enabling brands to uh, do adaptive bitrate streaming on the fly during delivery. Uh, and I'll get into it in a minute. That's really exciting because, as you said, when we're talking about adaptive bitrate streaming, it's really for the overall usage across many platforms, if I understand it correctly, where if you're talking about a desktop, you're talking about a tablet, you're talking about a mobile device, they're going to be essentially grabbing things at different ways. You're going to have Wi-Fi, you're going to have 5G, you're going to have LTE, 4G, 3G, you're going to have all sorts of things involved. And we want to make sure they all have a seamless awesome experience. And that's what ABR provides. The on the fly part of it is really interesting to me though, because it, so how is this happening? Like, how, like what exactly did we do to be able to have this happen on the fly now? Yeah. Like you mentioned, you know, today's customers are watching, uh, videos produced by brands at home on the go. Uh, it's either on their desktop or on mobile devices. And one thing that's commonly seen today is those constant fluctuations in the speed of the internet. And uh, typically with adaptive bitrate streaming, you're adjusting the format, the bitrate, and the quality of the video on the fly uh, or real time to adapt to uh, the, the playback device and the speed of the internet connection. Uh, cause that usually determines the bandwidth that available. Um, so what happens with on the fly adaptive bitrate streaming is, um, all of that encoding, you know, the whole process of, uh, segmenting the video into chunks of two to 10 seconds, and then creating various streaming profiles, uh, which generally a combination of the video format, the resolution. Uh, and the bitrate, uh, all of that process, instead of happening in advance um, at the time of upload, they're now happening on the fly when the video is first requested by an end user to view it. So what this means is it saves the video providers from having to do that advanced data preparation. And it also allows them to upload the video very fast and then be quickly able to stream that video, uh, what we call as instant streaming. Like if you think about it, so many people are used to being able to just working with various video platforms, put their video in there and it suddenly just works. And they may not even realize all the complexities that's happening over there. And it's nice that Cloudinary is continuing to further remove all of the complexities about video delivery. and. This is a great example of it with having ABR being able to be done on the fly now. So this is huge. Yeah, and what's even better is Cloudinary automatically selects the appropriate streaming profile for every scene uh, in the video and it content aware profile selection. So uh, for simpler scenes, one shot scenes with fewer movements, you can select maybe a low resolution, a low quality profile, but if it's a complex scene with a lot of, you know, action movement, uh, you may want to select a higher quality profile just to ensure that the end user experience is flawless and, and they're able to see that properly. Additionally, you can even do transformations like, um, you know, adding watermarks to your video or adding subtitles. 
even trim the video to remove any unwanted content. So all of this can happen on the fly during delivery, uh, which is a huge, huge time saver for uh, a lot of the video developers and you know companies who are trying to provide uh, videos to their end users. They don't have to do a lot of these transformations ahead of time, uh, and it saves a lot of the man hours associated with it. Well, I got to tell you, I'm sold. So I would love to see how this is actually done. So let's bring over Paul and have him give us a demonstration of how on the fly ABR works here today. I right, think Sam, thanks Aditya. So <clears throat> what we're seeing here is a video that I just uploaded. Um, so travel, the idea is it's a sort of a travel and hospitality video. It's a very high quality video, uh, 48 seconds in length. Um, so well, I can stream this. Um, now through Cloudinary using the, uh, the on the fly ABR, and I can just show this a really simple example of what's happening behind the scenes. As I press play here and we look over here on the right hand side in the developer tool, we're seeing these segments that uh, did you mention flow in, and this is those two to two to eight second segments that are going to help make this video play seamlessly, uh, depending on your, uh, again, on your screen size, depending on your bandwidth connection. In doing this is really simple. If I take a look at this code view, all I'm doing when I when I pull this player in, I'm using the Cloudinary player. All I'm doing when I pull this video in is passing the transformation that says streaming profile auto. This is simply going to tell the player to play the video using that auto selected streaming profile that this that this new feature unlocks for you. So it's all you need to do is add that one simple directive to the code and you can, and you can see that happening. And, you know, we can, we can contrast this with sort of a single bit rate playing this without ABR. Uh, we do remember those segments coming in as we play this, uh, not in a, in a sort of a progressive download, we can kind of see just these two files loading, um, as, as the video is playing. So you kind of lose that ability to, uh, you know, go through the video and you might also get some some hiccups if you have a slower connection because the video may pause its playing. So it's a really simple way to add that functionality with that simple uh, line of code. And if we look at, um, we can actually, like, like Aditya had said, we can actually add some transformation. So this is the same video uh, as before using a streaming profile, the auto streaming profile. And we can see these segments flowing in. But if you look here, we've added this watermark. That's all we're doing is passing that additional watermark transformation. Um, that's really common to a common use case um, with Cloudinary. If you want to, you know, maybe protect your videos with a watermark, for example, all easily done through the code, and it can be now combined with this um, auto bitrate select. Truly incredible. And you definitely hit the nail on the head with something that I was thinking as you were going through this is that we're privileged. We probably have great internet connections where we happen to be, but if you happen to be in a part of the world or in an area where you didn't have a great connection, that example that you had that was non-ABR would be even that much more hard to go through because it would be exactly. chunking through, potentially pixelated. So it's an excellent example of how we're able to be able to do this with a simple transformation. This is very, very, very cool. Yeah, and if you're it's really easy to implement with the code. And one thing I noticed as you were hovering over some of the chunks that were happening there, those travel shorts dot M4S is, is that you can see that transformation being applied in that area where you can see the SP auto that's going mm -hmm. through there. So that's applying it across the video, going through the player, and then it's doing the work. So on the fly, ABR. That's amazing, Paul. Exactly. So Aditya, I'm very impressed by what Paul just demonstrated here. Is there any final thoughts that you have to share with us about this overall transformation that's taking place, the streaming profile that he was able to provide, or anything else that's tied to this overall effort? No, I think um, Paul pretty much covered the ground, but I'll, I'll just emphasize the value here again um, with you know adaptive bitrate streaming. We're really excited to see how brands can deliver all kinds of videos. You know whether it's product videos on their e-commerce site, whether it is um, those how to use videos uh, across um, the third party site or even IOT devices. We, with adaptive bitrate streaming, we can pretty much now enable them to uh, scale their videos to any device, any bandwidth connection and ensure a flawless uh, viewing experience 
while also you know, lowering the bandwidth costs because uh, we can help optimize the size of the each scene within the video and, and make it uh, so that it does not take up too much bandwidth. 